To get started, make sure all adjustment buckles are loosened. Then, hold the carrier by the waist strap with the warning labels facing you right side up. Buckle the waist strap and adjust it to fit you. You will hear a click when the buckle is securely attached. Hold the back panel in front of you. You will see a hole below the panel. Slip your head through the hole. Be sure the back panel is at mid-back. Start with your baby held securely, facing your right shoulder with their legs tucked up in the fetal position. In all carrier positions, be sure to always keep one hand on your baby until all buckles and straps are fastened and adjusted properly. Take hold of the band by your left shoulder and pull it away from your body. Create a pouch in the band and slide your baby's body into the pouch. Bring the opposite band up over your baby. Be sure both bands are spread out and smooth under baby's feet and bottom. Flip up the fabric panel hanging below baby's bottom. While continuing to support baby with one hand, reach behind you and grasp the buckle. If the back panel has shifted upward towards your neck, pull it down at this time. Pull the buckle around in front of you and attach. Repeat with the buckle on the other side. Tighten each strap so the fabric panel is securely supporting baby's back and bottom. Be sure you don't over-tighten the straps. You should be able to slide a finger between baby and the outer fabric panel. Don't forget to perform a safety check. Baby's face should be above the fabric, visible, and free from obstruction. The fabric should be spread securely over baby's back. You should be able to fit two fingers between baby's chin and chest, and they should be resting high on your chest. While securely holding your baby, release the buckles near your chest. Take the outer band and pull it down below baby's bottom. Carefully holding baby under the arms, lift them up and out of the inner pouch. Never attempt to remove the carrier from your body while holding your baby. Start with your baby held securely facing your right shoulder. Pull the band near your left shoulder away from your body. Slide your baby's leg and arm behind the band. Stretch out the fabric over your baby's back and bottom. Slide your baby's leg and arm behind the opposite band. Spread both bands so they cover your baby's back and bottom. Make sure the fabric extends to the back of your baby's knees and your baby is in a seated position. Flip up the fabric panel hanging below baby's bottom. Reach behind you Pull the buckle around to the front and attach. Repeat with the buckle on the other side. Tighten each strap to securely support the baby. Be sure not to over-tighten the straps. If baby needs extra head support, you can use one of the shoulder panels to cradle their head, as long as their face remains clear of fabric and obstructions. Don't forget to perform a safety check. Baby's face should be above the fabric, visible, and free from obstruction. The fabric should be securely over baby's bottom with their knees higher than their bottom. Start with your baby held securely with his back on your right shoulder. Pull the band near your left shoulder away from your body. Slide your baby's leg and arm behind the band. Stretch out the fabric over your baby's chest and bottom. Spread both bands so they cover your baby's chest and create a comfortable seat. Flip up the fabric panel hanging below baby's bottom. Reach behind you, pull the buckle around to the front and attach. Repeat with the buckle on the other side. Tighten each strap to securely support the baby. Be sure not to over tighten the straps. Don't forget to perform a safety check. Baby's face should be above the fabric, visible, and free from obstruction. The fabric should be securely over baby's bottom with their knees higher than their bottom. While securely holding your baby, release the buckles near your chest. Holding baby under the arms, lift them up and out of the bands. 